In this video, I'm going to show how quick and easy it is to get up and running with AutoHotKey Command Picker. Uh, so you're on the, the main web page here. You just go download it. Here we go. Let's just save it. And it's saved. Let's open the folder. And so here's the zip file. You just want to unzip it. Okay, so I made this AutoHotKey Command Picker folder. Open it up and run the AutoHotKey Command Picker uh, auto hotkey script and now it's running so I can hit the caps lock key it brings up the picker just type edit my commands and right here uh, so now we have all of the out of the box commands already working for us and if we want to add our own just add them to this file so I want to let's say display a message box uh, so let's do this message box hello there uh, so this is the functionality that I want uh, to actually have it show up in our command picker here, we just need to wrap this in a function. Uh, so let's just call this display message. Now that it's wrapped in a function, we just have to add a call to our add command function. We pass in the function's name, so display message, and a nice user friendly uh, string. So displays a message in a message box. Now we just save the file. Uh, we need to refresh our script so that our command will actually, actually show up. So I'll pop the picker, type reload, auto hotkey script, hit enter. And now if I type display message, there's our command that we just added right here. If I say run command, there's our message box. And that's how quick and easy it is to start using auto hotkey command picker uh, to add your own commands and functionality.